they would have liked to go on to uh, to the after party, but maybe maybe another time, maybe another time. Yeah, we'll see, but that's gonna be a, that's a whole other discussion because now we've got the map here. It's a best of one between NIP and Team Dignitas, and uh, well, who do you favor on this map in particular, Andrews, between these two teams? Let's let's go ahead and get that out of the way first. Oh well, I mean, NIP had their uh, had their glory moment in. You know, this this map saved them a lot, didn't what? it? Um, but overall, uh, I, I actually think the Inchas have been showing some pretty good results on this map, and they they seem to enjoy playing it. So um, I don't know. I think the Inchas might be might be have like more experience playing the map, but I think Nip might be the better team anyway. So if I had to pick a winner, I'd probably say Nip wins this. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. Nico, my boy. Do those three frags go to his points? It's like the three that knife frags. That's a good question. Oh, man, dude. That's your, we're bringing up the important questions here. I like it. You know what's really going crazy right now? Is that uh, one of the players had to use my PC this weekend, and he still got his config on it. So, Ooh. like, all of my binds, I'm just like, wait a second, this is really weird. I'm trying to bring up, like, like, what's the graphs? Okay, there. But, like, everything is completely different, Anders. All right, we'll ride with it, and we'll get that sorted out afterwards uh, in, the, in the break, in the break between the maps. But, yeah, as far as, uh, as, far as this first map is going to go, guys, wow, the Vibrance. He's actually put the Vibrance up quite a bit as well. This is actually a pretty good config. Maybe I'm going to keep a couple of things here. <laughs> Maybe you learned something, right? Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get into it here. MSL already pushing out through A Apartments. And uh, he has decided to actually spot out two other players here for NIP. NIP taking a very passive uh, approach here to start. Yeah, they are just uh, slowly spreading out. I mean, we've seen just the just the frag bite here. How much it can, how much you can get out of pushing aggressively as a terrorist or CT side. Just getting information. Nice kill from Get Right. Going to be taking AC and also Nico being dropped. Get Right infiltrating the lineup here. Yeah, it's going to come down to MSL now on the A site. He's all, all alone getting split. After those two kills by Gat, right? He's in a 1v5 situation. The rotation's coming through, but it's not going to be fast enough. And this is a ca catastrophic start here for Team Dignitas. Get right even lurking, waiting for the rotation to come through on Pimp. Just letting him know that he's been spotted. And it's not going to be pretty here at all. Actually, look at this. I mean, Kirby and Pimp, what can they actually do here? Kirby's trying to wrap back around through A apartments at this point. He's going to take that fight with Exist, but Forest and Exist is going to get both of those kills. Easy stuff, it looks like. They're on point right now, NIP. Yeah, I mean, once again, it shows you just how powerful that, that drop zone is, doesn't it? You you lose control of that, you lose control of nearly everything, and um, and it's just going to end really badly. And get right getting both the kills there was really just too much to handle. Like, there's no way the remaining Dignitas players could even try to work together to stop NIP. No, that's that's the thing, man. How does like get right base? And I thought that even made, been made kind of like the raid boss get right, where you can there was that old strat where it was like Kevlar and you drop P250s and. You kind of just walk in there, but no, straight P250 on him. That's all he needed. Two headshots and Dignitas, just like that, lose a key round, a very important round here at the beginning of the half. But look at Dignitas already. It seems like a Danish thing right now. They uh, TSM tend to not buy the armor anymore in the second round on CT side, and it looks like their style going into it here. They don't yeah, go for the, uh, right. the Kevlar to back it. They do have some pretty decent pistols, though. I especially love the two deagles here. That is, that's always fun to see. Uh, close to the actual plateau, Kiebu is standing. He's going to go down there. Freiburg will drop him. And there's going to be four people left on NIP right now. MSL trying to get a bit closer here. And Pimp is still in the site. Going to get the kill on Alu, but it might not be enough here, although they're doing some good damage here on the Dingtar side. I don't think they can win the round. But still. I'm wondering right now. He's going to get into drop down room. They're being very thorough about this. Forest planting safe. Exist watching his back as well. And he's going to take that fight. Get down to 9 HP. Drops Exist down to 17. And now 1v3. Slap to the face from Freiburg. Does the trick. And that's going to be 2-0 now for NIP. So pretty much going according to plan here as far as uh, NIP are concerned. Keeping three people alive. Also not bad. They managed to actually pick up a couple of kills there. It looked like with uh, UMP as well. So that's a little bit of money. And get right. He knows what's up. Go straight for the MAC-10 here. Well, Nico tends to do this uh, this this kind of play. Uh, Kerrigan as well, actually, funnily enough. But sticking with the USP, like picking up a USP, and then in the third round, just keeping the USP and Kevlar, not spending any money so that they can get that up fast. You know what I'm loving is the fact that five, the four people in B right now all have an HE grenade, and they all throw them out immediately. They do nowhere near enough damage to justify it, but it's still kind of a fun idea, isn't it? That's Yeah, it's like clever. That's down to timing, essentially. But hey, Kerrigan managing to get the shots in. Nico's going to get caught. 
Vakeri falls back to the site, and now the flank coming in from Alu. He takes out the first man through, gets a second one on the site as well. And that leaves them all in a bit of an awkward spot. They're going to be able to clear out this B site. And how does... Oh, that's why. Forrest has worked his way out onto the A site as well. So they're all over the place right now, NIP. Pimp takes that fight with Forrest at the end, but he's not going to be able to get the kill. And so, much better situation here for NIP this round. Only losing get right. That man had only bought a MAC-10, so he doesn't really mind dying in this situation. And NIP getting three rounds. So, solid start for the Swedish Ninjas, and obviously they're playing on the more favored side, so getting this kind of start is also going to be a little bit tricky for Dignitas, but um, they're going to go straight for the AWP here on Nico. Uh, no armor, so um, got to be a little bit careful he doesn't get grenaded. I'm actually kind of glad he's running in middle now. Instead, he's going to be dodging the first grenade there and just getting a fair bit of control on this side of the map. Just got to be careful no one's sneaking around, but if he spots Forest here, it'd be a big opening kill for them. What's interesting as well is that get right is they're all kind of a uh, well taking basically Ulfmeister style on long here long plateau over on the B side get right sneaks his way through the smoke and he wins the duel could get the follow up here on AC as well if he's careful he's playing behind the boxes pimp is there it's an overlap here for team Dignitas really focusing on this position and now the support coming in for the remaining ninjas shots in the back there from Dignitas or into Dignitas essentially and get right right now just doing tremendous damage. They're still trying to get past, however. Forrest has managed to pick up a backstab, and wow, Forrest with the triple kill. I got the last two. <laughs> yeah, not much to do about that. I like what Dignus is trying to do to try and get in there and stop NIP from really getting the bomb site totally, which is boosting up on the on the tree box there in the middle. But they just couldn't get the boost in in time. NIP also saw it coming, but it's still a pretty cool idea. I mean, if you're if you're sort of trapped behind there and you've got enough players, maybe you could try and go for a boost. Nico here has already got a double kill. He's looking for more, trying to save the AWP, but they are so close and they're gonna be jumping out. Some it's raining men right in front of Nico. Yeah, all right. That was some uni. That was like, isn't there an Olympic sport like that where it's like uni? uni what am I looking for here? Unit synchronized United. swimming. Is that no, synchronized. Yeah, synchronized diving. Yeah, like, nice right, they just jump off the, the the platform together at the same time. They do like a triple axle, double quadruple flip, and then it's all like they go, they hit the water exactly the same time. Doesn't that exist? Yeah, I th it probably does. There are some fairly wacky Olympic sports. I'm gonna say yeah. <laughs> Nothing to say. It's good, you know, because circus isn't here. We can we can talk smack about curling a little bit. Yeah, you know, total, <laughs> totally. Olympic sport. Sadikus is into curling. Well, he's Canadian, right? He would. Well, I, look, look, I, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. one of one of the only like Danish Olympic victories ever was in curling. I can't out, remember really? what year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, we we care about curling too because it's one of the few things we ever won anything in. Ah, that's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> okay, Sadikus and I are gonna have to have a talk here. Um, Nico with a good kill and Kerry with a nice headshot on Freiburg. Definitely a step up here from Dignitas and Kerry's gonna go down as well. Taste the deagle. It's going to be Forrest and Alu left 2v4, but that is some nice pistol action coming out from Kiev and Nico. I think the Skittles have gone to your head, dude. Like, taste <laughs> the deagle. Taste the rainbow. I, yeah, I probably should have said that, should I? <laughs> Kiev is going to take down Forrest as well, and Alu will be last man left here. You know, a bit of a weird 1v3, because they don't have any armor. He can he can kill all of them. He can just engage with them one at a time. If Dignitas don't set up some good trade uh, scenarios here, it's not going to work out too well for uh, for them. Because alu has got the armor, and he's got a little bit of time left as well. 20 seconds here. Takes down MSL. Kirby still hiding behind the rock. And Alu is trying to move in as well. Getting the shot would be... Nice right now for Kebu, looking for one more headshot. They're sneaking around 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Alu is trying to look for... The They're just not showing themselves. He goes for the plot once, gets a kill as well. Now running around 2 seconds, 1 second. Alu, he can't find Nico. <laughs> what a great game of hide and seek here. And Nico, he's going to go down. But they did what they wanted to do. It's a brilliant 1v3. I can't actually believe what we just witnessed. That is insane. They actually managed to run down the clock that way. What a win for Dignitas. And on an eco round as well. But it's like all combination of things coming through. Kirby playing super patient, but also getting those two kills with the Deagle on Plateau earlier on. I mean, that was monstrous right there. Uh, hold on, let's see. Sorry about that. Checking with the admin real quick about something. All right, all right. All right. Well, in the meantime... Um it's a, it's finally around for Team Dignitas, and it came off the back of just some, some pistols. So that's going to feel good for them. Nico flashed, so he couldn't get the kill. 
Oh, get right coming out on the plateau, and get right, in fact, will get a double here. So, get right's playing the entry fragging role, which is interesting on this team right now. He's gonna get a third kill. He's just tearing them apart on this B bomb side. They can't stop get right. He was angry about that deagle, too. Fry were gonna help out a little bit here, but MSL will be the last man standing. And talk about it, like how it's going to completely screw the money here for Dignitas. Alu gets caught, though. That's going to drop the AWP. So NIP are going to want to try and track this guy down at this point because MSL is like, sweet. Get to save this bad boy. If he can, we'll find out. NIP were pretty good at tracking down Nico when he had his AWP and he was trying to save it. But three players left alive here for NIP. Just going to continue to hunt. And, okay, the scoreboard is still on tab. Excellent. And money actually isn't that great for NIP, so I'm wondering... Are oh, they actually going to be able to track him down? Do they want to keep throwing away rifles for this? Did you turn up the in-game volume a bit? Is that, does some, that need to come up a little bit? Some people have been tweeting and saying that that, that could also be a thing. Right. But you should you should be happy here, Samla. You have MSL on your team, and you just got a double kill. Yeah, dude. There so. you go. Two points, two points. Let's go. Two, those are the first two points that he got. I'm actually kind of regretting not picking up Kirby as well. AC sitting on 0, 2, and 6, so that, that angle for me is not working out right now. AC, it's the last time I buy you pizza, bro. Last. All right. Let's see. Unless he can turn it around here. But all right, MSL. We'll actually follow MSL here to start, see where he decides to set up with the uh, set up with this AW. He decides to take an aggressive long, and he is going to take uh, he's going to take over Nico's position. Essentially, it looks like no playing from Henhouse instead. This isn't too shabby because Alu's about to walk around this corner, and Alu, boom, shots ring out, and MSL's the one winning that duel. Follow up made as well, just tombs Alu, and this is getting kind of tricky here. We do have AC holding close on the site, but there are three players, now only two, left alive here for Team Thingatos. They've already managed to slow things down quite a bit, however, for the uh, NIP players. But with it being pistols in their hands, it wasn't good enough. I mean, this is this is not turning out well for Thingatos, is it? They, they, they lose four in a row, win one, lose two in a row, and money is going to be completely screwed here. And this is a tough position for them to be in. And keep going for just a second, mate. We're going to go ahead and uh, check this out real quick. Well, um, I mean, on the Dignitas side, they're going to go for two HE grenades, a single smoke, and a little bit of armor. They have the Deagle on MSL. Kind of wish Kebby had one. He did a good job last time around. And MSL might be in a position to get a kill here. They're going to get fairly close to him. And it's not too bad when you have a Deagle at sort of mid range like this. Going to walk in and take down and exist. Good headshot. Looking for more. Almost lining up for him there, but he's only going to get the one kill before he drops. I like the aggressive pushing from Kiev over at B. That means they kind of know that no one is hanging out around here. So they could try and stack up a bit more towards A, maybe. Uh, still, it's it looks like NIP are, you know, just ready to win this map, essentially. Like, they, it doesn't look like there's a lot of things I can do to stop them. Yeah, that's a good place to hide that AK for Iberg. Don't worry. I don't think they're going to spot it. Long distance spray from him, trying to take point, and we're going to have the push coming out here from A Apartments. Forest now going to apply the pressure to AZ, who's on the site proper. There's a man in balcony, however, and an HE goes sailing past Forest, stands his ground, however, and pulls. Not a device, but at least he gets the headshot on Pim. And Kirby is going to be the last man coming through here on underpass. He does manage to find an AK, however, so he's going to be pretty pleased about that. Hightailing it out of here, just making it around the corner in time, and now, oh, he goes back and he takes the fight. Freiburg to win it. Good job there. Triple kill on Forest, and uh, apparently I was roboting a little bit. Uh, is that is that fixed? Is it okay? Uh, now it is. Yes. Oh, perfect. I've, I've I've always I've always wanted to do the robot similar, but that was in a different context. It's like you know, on on the dance floor. I just I just never really practiced. Oh man. What are we seeing here? Alo's still with the AWP, and Nico has one of his own as well. They do need to get a bunch of rounds on the board here. I think they need at least five or six um, as a sort of minimum on the CT side just to make this work. Definitely a terror-sided map, but, but something's got to change. Otherwise, it's not going to work out for them. We're kind of going over the positioning here. I like that Exist is trying to see over that smoke. If somebody was holding it the far, at the back of Plateau, he would probably spot them out, but instead it's going to be aggro. In A apartments and MSL actually making it out. Kirby gets caught, however, in drop down room, so that's not going to help things with the defense over on the B side. Kind of two, uh, two and two here so far, actually for both for both teams. Hmm. They are really spread out. You're right. It's, I mean, 
They're gonna have to consolidate their forces at some point, NIP. Wow, nice shot from MSL that somehow went through the door and killed Alu. And now they are gonna be pushing over by B. And I think AC is gonna be the the main carry here if he's gonna have to hold on. And actually, he's gonna catch Freiburg rolling back. So he was trying to run away with the bomb, but I think that probably ends the round. I don't see Get Right being able to do anything now. Neither do I. Despite him getting pissed off and getting two kills there, it's actually gonna be a situation where Get Right's going to want to back off and save his uh, gun. Even, uh, although it wouldn't be too bad for him to try and get over there and see if he can't get somebody uh, being greedy, get a kill, but he saves the op, so not the end of the world for him. Dignitas living with both of their players, though. That's going to be pretty nice. So if they can hold on to that AWP, it's going to be good, and that is definitely going to happen, seeing as how Get Right is actually checking T Sniper right now. That would be like the most next level play of Dignitas actually, you know, gut ahead of him into T Spawn, into T Sniper, and somebody was already waiting for him there. <laughs> yeah, about, like, they the heart attack moment. Well, the funny thing would be if they stuck their head out and get where I was standing down there to look up for it. I, then you'd really feel outplayed. That, that would, wasn't going to yeah. be the case. Then it's just like forever he is going to be just like the king, the god. Never live it down. Alright. Well, going into the 10th round now. NIP, they have seven rounds on the board. Two here for Dignitas. And we'll see if Dignitas, they can now start trade, you know, putting some rounds together. That's the most important thing at this point for them. Last time, they only got the one, and then they got slammed again three rounds in a row. Now, they have another chance, but Get Right sets up that pop. The same pop that he used last time. And a perfect exit here on the plateau. Takes out AZ and then fades away. Uh, that's, a, that's a very nice entry frag. And, uh, you know, again, it's a bit surprising to see Get Right being the entry fragger at all. I mean, it's usually Freiburg's role on this team. Uh, but it's quite cool to see he's doing so well at it, like really well. It's been like at least a couple of rounds now where you got the double entry and if you're playing that role and you can kill two like that you can win you can win whole tournaments having a player that can do that basically that's it's real fun actually because he's still calling for nip and he's playing like the same position that kerrigan's playing it's basically like nip have just adopted tsm style of playing cobblestone or fanatic style i mean basically the the accepted oh, style the successful look at one pimp. yeah he's going look right through the Total backstab play here from Ipem. Yeah, definitely. And he's got Nico rotating over now as well, but the smoke goes down to block off connector, so Nico can't really have too much of a say here. Oh, but he does flash in, and Pimp is going to get an easy kill on Alu. Walks out on Freiburg as well, and will pick up the kill after a little bit of hesitation. But the bomb does go down. Freiburg managed to punch in the last digit in the code, and now it's up to exist here. 1v2, trying to prevent the defuse from coming. And finally, another round for Dignitas. They're actually managing to get this uh, to get this together now. Dignitas, two guys surviving once again. Nico also stopping Getright's advance over on the uh, B site. So, but that's I, it's actually quite fun to see how uh, Getright's setting things up. I mean, it's, it's almost exactly like what we saw from Kerrigan yesterday on Cobblestone, just hanging around on the edge of that smoke and just peeking through, managing to get through and actually get those entry kills. He's actually developed a bit of a pop flash as well. It's really nice. A pop flash, I mean, basically just a simple flash, but it seems to be really effective because if anybody keeps, uh, as we keep seeing here round after round, if anybody holds close uh, to the exit of Plateau, they get flashed white and get right, gets another, it gets a free kill round after round here. He keeps doing it. So hmm, we'll see if uh, he can pull that off again, but it looks like this time around NIP are setting up for a bit of a different play. Four players over here on the B side of things to start. Well, still plenty of time for NIP, and they've had a lot of success towards the B bomb site, so I don't really blame them for wanting to go there. And a large part of that success, again, comes down to the entry fragging that Get Right's been doing. So, curious to see if he could do it one more time. And obviously, since MSL is going to drop him mid air, that wasn't going to be the case. Now the rest of NIP feel like it's time to go. So they run out on Plateau. Pimp is going to take one down. Freiburg with a reply on Kirby. And MSL very nearly dropped. But Pimp is going to miss a shot from back uh, at the hen house here. And NIP, they're a man down. But they still have plenty of health. And Freiburg, you can see, he wants to shoot through. But he's just afraid that someone's going to be close. And there was someone there. Easy to get a, uh, to get dropped with a shot to the face. Nice 180 from Nico. And that's going to go up to Freiburg alone. Oh, I can't believe that Nico actually hits that shot. Was watching it from Alu's perspective, and Alu was trying to set it up so they get to get both kills because he knew that Nico was holding close. But Nico, the reaction times of a god in that case, three kills for him. And right now, Nico, nope, not sitting at the top. That's actually MSL. All of a sudden, dude, Anders, I think I'm pretty, yeah. doing pretty good here. I'm starting off my night strong. It's not too bad. I mean, you've got Nico too. They're both top fragging on the on the Dignitas team. Okay, and then Forest top fragging and Get Right top fragging. Yeah, I'm. I'm 
Yeah, not gonna not gonna shine my nails too much yet. You know, not gonna toot my horn, but definitely looking pretty solid. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, that 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 feels good. That's a good start, isn't it? We're just, I mean, in the last sort of a third of the first half here. And um, I mean, the way Dignitas are playing now, they could they could end up having, I think, a, a decent first half anyway. Even though it was looking horrendous at some point, I think they were uh, eight and one at, uh, at before Dignitas. Sorry, you no, know, seven and one before uh, Dignitas started really, really winning anything. And now we're back to seven four. So um, that makes it doable. And a nice spray here with the grenade. MSL taking the assist down to four health. Yeah, MSL is on right now. He's plenty happy that those doors are wooden. He keeps just getting those angles. Over on the B side right now, NIP trying to set up to be uh, pushing into drop down room. Ineffective pop flash there, thrown out, and Kirby takes that fight, stands his ground, and loses it in the end. So both players surviving here. Freiburg trying to wrap back around, and he's going to get shot in the back by MSL. And this has now turned into a three on two situation here. NIP just holding this together by a thread. Oh, and Alubin got very low as well. They're all sub 20 health right now. But uh, MSL is going to be gone, which means Pimp, if he knew how low they were, you could almost just try and USPS them one at a time here. Serious. But um, with the AWP, I mean, there's no way he's going to AWP all these three people before the bomb goes up. So he's actually just going to run away. Mm -hmm. Just trying to play it safe in the end. And uh, you can't really fault him for it. I mean, kind of just needs to uh, hold on to this AWP because for the money right now, as we can see right now, Dignitas just don't have a cent. They really don't have much money to work with. 1,200 on AC is the most that they have. Runner-up is half of that with MSL at 600. So hold on to this AWP. See what you can do in the, the, in the 13th round. But now NIP, now they're going to start getting momentum because they were close to getting into that e Although they might have been able to squeak by with the force buy if they were to lose it. Still solid work. And now, well... Life gets a little bit difficult here for uh, Dignitas. They have to make the hard call. Do they go for the full eco or do they try and risk it? Play off of this AWP that Pimp has. And yeah, it's going to be the eco call here. Yeah, I, it's, it's, I mean, it is a bit of a hard call. I guess it depends on whether you feel comfortable as Dignitas getting, you know, like five-ish rounds, maybe six if, you, if, you, if, if things go really well, or if you're gunning for more than six. If for more than six, then you kind of have to have to play off the AWP now, right? And everyone else buys up. But if you're fine with getting less, then they could they could get away with what they're doing here. I think that's all right. MSL goes down early on. And um, they are trying to be a little bit aggressive here with Pimp sort of covering Kirby moving forward. But I'm not sure it'll have a big impact. Oh, look at Kirby. He's pushing all the way through. He could get the backstab here, but get right. Walks back at the perfect time to catch his lurk. That is painful for Kirby. He might have had the golden opportunity there. Now, comes down to the two remaining players here on the B side. And NIP with 55 seconds left. They have all the time. They're actually rotating a man back to pick up that bomb now. They're probably thinking, all right, well, so far it's looking good. And it gets better because Pimp misses that shot on the get right. So now they've localized the AWP. They know where it is. They've located, rather, the AWP. And they get the entry frag on A side, taking out Nico, who is lurking up in apartments. Well, Forrest spraying down AC. He was trying to run through the sort of smoke that was up there as well. Pimp going to take down Freiburg. And now he is just hunted prey, isn't he? 1v5. It's turned into a 1v4 right now. And they kind of know where he is as well. Alu going to go down. Pimp doing a good job. But eventually he's going to get caught. There, there was no way. Not even Kenny could have fought his way out of that one. <laughs> Our Guardian or JW. Uh, maybe Kenny or JW. It was actually fun with the play of the day yesterday. We got to see relive that moment of JW holding quad boxes on cash where he got four kills, right? With the AWP, it's like one after another. I, c yeah, I could see JW cool. maybe pulling that off. But uh, clearly uh, some rest has done nip well right now. Forrest, Getright, Freiburg, I mean, all of them just hitting shots. And it's Forrest and Freiburg just getting back from Sweden Rock as well. So they had a little bit of time off to, to recover, to, to go and party a bit. And that seems to be working wonders for them right now. A bit of time to yeah, I'm surprised. Them. Maybe they were going to be burned out from, from all that partying, but they're all right. Nico hiding in the corner over at Long, which is great, but then Forrest picks up two over at B, which means it doesn't really matter. Pimp now playing so close. Takes one, but Forrest with the triple kill. I think Pimp was trying to set it up so he can get both those kills, but... Last kills happening almost simultaneously, and it's going to be the 15th round coming up now with... Team Dignitas, I don't think four rounds is enough playing CT side here. I think they need more. Mm. 
I agree. And while they think the same, obviously, last round of the half, so they're going to go for the force spine, but they are definitely not going to be pleased uh, with the with the outcome of this uh, of this first half. They definitely need more. They need the fifth round, basically. They're going to have to cross their fingers and hope that Kyrie can deliver again. I mean, they did win an eco round earlier on in the half, so they've shown that they can make the Deagles work for them. Kyrie in particular. And I was wondering, are they going to go for the boost? It looks like it. They go for an aggressive smoke, and this sets it up. And But Exist and Freiburg, they're aware of this. They're already trying to back off. There's a bit of a battle going on between Gatwright and Pimp, and Pimp gets out of there with 3 HP. In the meantime, Kirby waiting on the other side of this smoke. Boom! Through the smoke, takes out Exist, and he nearly does Freiburg as well. Oh, that was way too good. AC's going to lurk right up on the Gatwright, but you cannot catch Gatwright asleep, dude. It just doesn't work that way. A great job on Forrest as well, dropping uh, MSL and Nico, who are trying to push aggressive on the other side. So Digna is trying to basically push where counter boost. They try to push out of uh, mid, and now Pimp is going to be all alone here. So it's looking like an 11 4 finish. And, um, oh, at the halftime, uh, I think if you if you increase your uh, your volume a little bit, Samurai, again, I think that's going to be cool. I think everyone will be happy then. That's what's necessary. Um, yeah, people have been saying that's that's the last key. All right, well, there we go. 11 for the score. Pimp is gone, and we're just going to replace the endgame overlay real quick just to make sure that uh, everything is snazzed there. So I'll just take a moment here, guys. Bear with us. Right, but um, once the restart comes in, obviously Dignitas do need to win the pistol round. No doubt about that. NIP, even if they lose it, they should be. I expect they'll be able to take five rounds on this uh on the second half here, they're just looking, they're looking quite good at the moment, which is nice. It feels like, um, it feels like we do want that, that second really strong Swedish team. And maybe, uh, maybe NIP is going to be, be up there again. They haven't really been able to return to like the ultra dominant form that obviously they're looking for, but I don't want to rule them out just yet. I feel like this addition of Alu is still, it still has a lot more potential than we've seen yet, I think. I think we're good. No oh, overlay working. <laughs> oh, I do love reading the Twitch chat. Oh, I see how this is. I see how this is. All right. Well, we're gonna go live in the pistol round. We'll figure all that break stuff out later on because we have a new set of overlays essentially uh, that need to be implemented now that Vulcan are a sponsor. And so there we have it. That's oh, that's not important as far as the game is concerned. The game, NIP are up, and they have 11 rounds going into this pistol oh. round. And Alu gets caught in a bit of a sandwich trying to push. He's going for the flank, and that's not going to work at all. We're going to have to actually get the rotation out of here. Forrest already trying to get him here at any moment. Although well, they're playing this very carefully, to toss. Now that they have the man advantage, they've actually significantly slowed this down. Yeah, they have a nice shot from Because it's a silencer, you can't hear a thing over at the B-bomb site. Exist is hiding in the corner and oh, Nico just checks as the last man in. And Pimp is going to go down to get right, but now it's a 2v3. Bomb goes down and Dignus has stayed. They've got a shot at doing this. Nice reaction times there by uh, get right as well, but... He's taking the fight extended there. Forrest as well trying to push into the site itself. He's gonna he's having a bit of trouble though. They're playing this very well, Team Dignitas. They only peek when they're gonna get that kill. And then they peek together. Although AC's having a bit of an extended duel with Forrest, you just can't seem to get the kill. AC lives with 14 HP, and that's one of those those moments where you just think that instead of a USP an actual pistol, you know, you're just holding like this like spitwad shooter. I don't know, you're doing no damage. This guy just doesn't die no matter how many times you hit him. That's frustrating. Just a little frustrating there for Forrest. So, unfortunately, NIP, they don't get that clean, smooth finish that they were hoping for to get a big chunk of rounds uh, going into this to the, into the next map for them, obviously. They're going to have to battle it now. Team Dignitas, they get the start that they were looking for, that's for sure. A much needed one. I mean, this is the best of one game, so it's all or nothing right now. AC hunting down, get right, and maybe going to get a little bit more here. Although MSL and Nico, I think, are going to finish those two kills. So, it's going to be Alo and Forrest left, and... They don't have armor, and they're quite far away from the action. Just uh, ready and waiting if someone's going to come and find them here. Yeah, quite a bit of money getting gained here. Although Forrest is going to find the one kill. He's got a MAC-10 as well. Takes that fight straight up with Pimp and loses it. So Pimp, two MP7s. And this is the main question now as far as 
How do you deal with the, the follow-up with the second round? Do you go for Kevlar or not? Do you try and take the fight straight up because of those SMGs being bought? Because you have to be worried that Team Dignitas, if you don't have Kevlar, they're just going to mow you down and they're going to get a lot of money. As we can see, Pimpy's sitting up at 46.50 and he has another round now to farm. So concerned with them not being able to pick up the kills that last round and allowing for Pimp to pick up the majority there and just completely make, uh, make a mess of things as far as the economy is concerned. Oh, perfectly timed there, but Pimp leads the charge. He gets caught. He's going to get uh, overrun, and Freiburg not long for this world either. That's MSL with the P90. Not a big fan of the P90, though, personally, just because you don't get bonus money with the, uh, with the P90. You get 300 bucks per kill, so it's not like other SMGs, unfortunately. Or fortunately, yeah, you're right. It, it, I mean, it's got it's it's got that going for it, but but at the same time, like, if you want all the eco frank similar, if you don't want anyone from your team picking up a single one of them, then, mm. like, the P90 is the way to go, isn't it? Yeah, I can see that. Okay, okay, fine. Anders. Stop making sense. And I am that sort of person, similar. I don't want my teammates thinking that some of those kills belong to them. <laughs> All the frags, man. <laughs> All uh, now we're going to go into the fourth round here, the 19th round, essentially, of this game, and it is going to be the buy round. And Exist has been boosted up on Big Box. He's got Get Right watching drop behind him and Freiburg on the site. And over on the A side, it's going to be Forrest looking underpass with the support of Alu up in apartments. And we were already started off as Get Right actually catches MSL. So, yeah. hmm. It's not too bad, that kind of opening kill. They finally have rifles. And uh, I think a couple more people are jumping down. But they've got to pick up the bombs on my back there as well. Kiev, going to drop to Forrest. Trying to sneak through the smoke. It's all the rage nowadays, uh, walking through the smoke. I mean, the the best of five grand finals last night between TSM and Fnatic it was just like one long series of people trying to play around the smokes all the time. It was quite fun, but um, it's also not always easy to do, even though the smokes can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Getting in with the kill there, Freiburg takes down AZ, and that leaves it in a 2v5 here, and Dignitas not uh, doing moment. Yeah, pimp. Not going to live through that. Freiburg alive on the site. Getright was the one to pick up the kill, however. And now it's Nico trying to look through this edge in the smoke, just trying to find an angle here where he can maybe pick up a kill for free. But the smoke is cleared. He's lost his screen, and now he's going to have to try and take this fight straight up. 1v3, and he's not going to get a single kill. A perfect first buy round here for NIP. That's that's dead on. Alus gets to save his AWP. Everybody gets to make money, and now they're going to get fully equipped and finally force Team Dignitas to spend... Uh, Quite a bit of money in this next round. Nico goes straight up to his AWP, and I'm curious to see Kirby. Yeah, full buy, full buy for both teams now. So this this is where it gets fun. This is where it gets very interesting. Yeah, I have a bit of a five round lead. You're right, and um, with the AWP on either side. Let's see. I mean, I'm I'm curious to see if Nico can actually come up with a with a good opening here for Dean's house. I think that's what they need. I like MSL setting up for a smoke action. That's gonna maybe block off where Alu is holding here. Is it going to be further back? I think it's just a little bit further back. So Alu going to fall back and try and connect up with Forrest, who's right behind him. Gets the... But Forrest is not going to turn around and help, and he's going to go down to MSL with a double. That seemed really weird. That is, like, the worst-case scenario, right? He, well, he's expecting there to be some kind of split going on here. He's like, okay, where are the guys underpass? At least I, maybe I can trade one for one there, but it's just not the case. And Team Dignitas go barreling onto that side. Exist gets caught up on Balcony, and now it's going to be get right... And Freiburg trying to rotate through. Only problem is they got a man at their backs and they have no idea. Pimp is there. Takes out Freiburg for free. And now get right. All by his lonesome here. Just stuck in the room. He's not really going to be having too much luck getting out of here, it seems. 1v3 situation. And he gets caught in the open by Kirby. So nice shot there by Kirby actually keeping his cool because it looked for a moment there like that get right was actually going to win that duel. I think for him, I think what we saw there was like a, a rare a rare visit of uh, by Bot Forest essentially. Bump, like I just have forward. I just have no idea how he didn't like he must have heard that Alu got killed and Alu must have been shouting at him, I'm getting killed right next to you, mate. <laughs> right <laughs> next like you know you realize I'm standing right behind you. Uh, maybe <laughs> you need to take that information into account. Uh, well, oh. well, you know, they they are um I believe the boot camping if not now, very soon, NIP, in, pre in preparation for DreamHack coming up. So I, I don't think that they're there yet. I think they, they get there tomorrow. But still, like, it's uh, NIP right now, though. There is going to be some things, uh, I suppose, you know, like the favorite NIP saying, you know, under construction. Uh, they're going to be 
positions on the map, etc. So maybe that was one of those moments where they weren't quite 100% on where their teammates were playing from. Yeah, and actually, I mean, you know, the, you know the worst people. I remember this is in 1.6, but it still happens in Go. I've noticed uh, when you're playing against someone, and then they they have their normal nicknames, so they're called like lead lead killer, something like that. But then they have like underscore or at new mouse or something. Yeah. Like I really care if that person has a new mouse. That I'm something I'm gonna say. Oh, they were definitely gonna win the game, but he had the new mouse, so you know that's obviously why they lost. You know that kind of excuse. But actually. If you're a pro team, I, I almost kind of want to, like, give them a pass on it just because it's like, actually, if you do want to spend time sort of, like, rebuilding the team and relooking everything, I guess it is kind of nice to take some weight off. We're actually trying to redo everything. Yeah. So give us a little bit of time. Let's make this project work. And then, you know, we'll come back and we'll be, we'll be real good at it. I kind of want to give them the benefit of the doubt here and say, okay, let's see what they can do with that time then. Rather than... Just taking it to the face and then everybody getting angry with them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, it's fair, it's fair. It's just that, you know, life isn't fair, Anders. Oh, no, definitely isn't. Allo? Oh. He's going to go down for his next MSL. He, he heard Semla that you had picked him and he thought, I had better, I'm not going to disappoint Semla. Even it's though he originally didn't even want me on his team, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it here. AC last man standing, Freiburg, with a pretty stunning triple spray down over at Long, and now it is gonna be AC left. He goes down to exist here. So NIP, even though people in the Twitch chat are freaking out, uh, they're actually doing quite well. Thirteen to nine. People in the chat are freaking out about NIP. What? Well, yeah, they're saying NIP is throwing. I can't believe that they're throwing this game right in front of us. <laughs> they're obviously not fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's an interesting take on things, especially considering we feel like this map is now uh, some so uh, a little bit T side. We'll put you know just just a, just a touch, just a scotch. But it's something to keep in mind, guys. Dignitas, they still have a little bit of an edge, and they have now spent all their money. But the same could be said for NIP. So this is still very close. It could go either way. Because if NIP lose this round, they're in an awkward force buy scenario, and the same could be said for Dignitas. So this is going to get very fun right here. And already NIP changing things up, putting three guys over on A early on. So they realize now that Dignitas have been putting a lot of attention on Palace to start. They're like, okay, okay, let's see if we can actually stop them from going underpass and stop them from actually trying to get in here and take these fights. MSL, man, that's, that's how scary he is. And NIP are going for overkill against him. I mean, he is doing quite well at the moment, isn't he? And he's got uh, 20 kills, which is the most on Dignitas. 24, 23 on Get Rhine and Forest. I feel like the Get Rhine and Forest combination is back in play. That used to be the the ultimate Counter Strike duo for a long time. Um, sim simply the best the, the best duo that was out there. So it could be fun if they can revive that somehow. Kebu is going to go down here and uh, Freiburg to fall. So Nick exists falling as well means now get right alone in the bomb site and he's gonna go down. Nice entry from Dignitas now. They just have to get a bomb down and this is not pretty for NIP. They are losing a grip on this. And this that means I'm surprised that they're getting so close. Just because, yeah, back off and save the guns. They're hoping to be able to put some pressure soon, but then I believe they were close enough to hear Alu run there. And MSL, he might have realized now that okay, Alu's taking off. This guy, uh, we have a way out now at least. And Forrest is waiting, but nobody's going to come and greet him up here in the halls, so he's going to have to try and hunt for a different angle. But the most important thing right now is Alu, just the man making his way out of here. He needs to stay alive and hold on to that AWP. Uh, there's a bit of a difficult decision to be made here, and there's whether uh, whether IP decide to eat the eco or not. Anas. I mean, I, no. I imagine that they pretty will just eat the eco here. Um, because on this map, I, I think you should, you should be able to just save the, the AWP and the M4 somewhere. Like, you know, if, if you stack them up in one side of the map, then if they come there, maybe you win. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, they, they are going to split them up, so I still, I, I hope they're just going to, like, try and save them. And if, if they do get the, the couple of opening frags, maybe it's going to work out. But emphasis on saving these guns, I think it's the big thing. Well, they've put Get Right way up here in A halls right now, so he's... He's kind of hanging out, whereas over in drop down room, Freiburg's going to get dropped on. 
No luck there for him. Exist trying to wait patiently on the side of the smoke, hoping to be able to catch somebody off guard here, hiding behind the boxes. But Team Dignitas, once again, they're playing it so patiently. They found the rifle, so they're like, okay, that much we don't have to worry about anymore. Now, where is the AWP? And Alu playing connector is clever. It means he can go both ways very quickly. He can go over towards the A side if he wants and get in position here, as we can see. Takes the shot and misses it, though, and that's that's going to be a bit unfortunate. Get right could be in position to get a backstab here, however, so we'll see if Team Dignitas are thorough. Check behind them. Doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, my God. Stabs. Yep, and he gets a gun out of it. Right then, get right. Is this actually happening? We're having a real battle now. Exist in underpass manages to slow things down, but get right just dropped the bomb carrier. That's going to make all the difference. What a ludicrous round this is turning out to be. It's a 2v2 now with 30 seconds left, and they are trying to get back in here, see if they can get the bomb somewhere. Get right is holding with the AWP right at the angle. He's going to miss the shot, and Kebu will take him out. So now it's on exist. Can he get the crossover shot here? 18 seconds left. He gets one. MSL next in line. Such a strong round here. Such a strong map here for MSL so far. And Nip... They only have one guy left on 16 health. Bomber's going to go down. MSL needs a single shot here to take care of Exist, and that's going to be it. Grenade on in once. Flashbang out. MSL just trying to buy time, and Exist has to commit at some point. And he is going to do it. Man, just to catch him looking the wrong way. MSL expecting him to play from balcony, and the mind game works. But what a masterful play from the man Get Right himself. Sitting at the top of the scoreboard, nearly dropping a 30 bomb while leading the team. This is some sick play from get right the suite is back and he was actually streaming earlier today too so that was cool to see it's not every day that he actually gets that stream going so he's feeling motivated after this uh, after this bit of vacation clearly something worked something uh yeah that, that definitely worked for him well summer when when alu missed that shot i will uh i'll i'll get i'll get you a pin of your choosing some if you can guess what the ch twitch chat was uh, spamming at that point really bought all of Oh, guessed it. I can't believe it. Uh, it was I thought you weren't going to be able to. Yeah, that's that's a that's a tough one. <laughs> All right, like then. that happens every single time, whether he lands the shot or not. Yeah, <laughs> it's become its own thing, hasn't it? It really has. Like, even if the guy lands the shot, then I guess you could say, well, yeah, bought Alu, right? Because you know, only a bot could react that quickly, and that's how you have to turn it around. That's why Alu, he's constantly just thinking, wow, everybody's really complimenting me right now. This is sick. <laughs> Oh, uh, Pimp, uh, and they're going to get smoked off here. Pretty one of the kill on Freiburg. And Freiburg's going to put up a bit of a grenade. Actually, a very good grenade. Some spray through. Freiburg using that M4A1. He, uh, M4A4, he's the, he's, the, he's the sole champion here. The only one still willing to use it. Freiburg is the 0.3%, the basically. <laughs> the 0.3%, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what we're down to, but it's lower. Ah, oh, but Alu wins the duel and get right. Everybody actually coming through to the four here. Exist will take out MSL. That's going to leave Pimp and Nico all by their lonesome now. Nico picks up that bomb. But Pimp, he's like, no, no, we can't go to that site. We, no, we can't do this. And actually, they're backing off. It's going to be 20 seconds left in this round. And Team Dignitas are setting up to hold on to their weapons. They don't want to go through and just throw them away. And we can understand them when they're all broke, practically. Yeah, instead they're admiring um, some, of, some of the ancient stuff here in the museum. There's a dagger. And there's yeah, there's there's some good there's some good stuff on display. I think. Yeah, that, it's like what is it? A sword or something? Is that a... Yeah, there's some armor around the place too. Is that a bastard sword? Look, it's like a hand and a half. I don't right. know about the, the how you classify those things. I I I would say if it's I say if it's short it's a knife. If it's sort of medium, then it's pretty a dagger, and if it's long, it's a sword. That's all I care about. Like that, I I I try and simplify things. Yeah, I try I, and keep it simple. Because isn't it funny that it's like a flip knife? Everybody's like, oh, it's the falchion. It's like no, that's not what a falchion looks like. Falchion <laughs> is actually a broad, you know, straight blade. They pretty much just break the other guy's sword, pretty much. Like, that's how it works. Okay, enough about that. Let's get into the thick of things here. And it's actually been very fast-paced. Dignitas deciding to go for a, B, or a straight up B-Rush right now. And they've got three players still alive. Now, Freiburg, however, having his say, will get caught out in the open by Pimp. And it's going to be down to Alu. And he's holding this line, but Nico has a smoke. So, exactly. Smoke goes down, and now that makes things a little bit tricky here for Alu. He's going to have to change up his angle. Swaps out for an M4, decides to do away with that AWP, and does he actually catch out Pimp, who's on top of the box, instant headshot from Alu, locks on, gets the job done, and now it's going to be Nico, last man alive, but Alu catches him just at the edge of the smoke. What a shot, what a play, a 1v2 clutch for Alu.
that is going to be match point now for NIP. Done. The map in the bag. Yeah. Saved by Alu. Where's your, where's your bot now? Where's your bot now? It's got Alu instead. Pretty good uh, save there at the end. Making sure that uh, there's no chance for things has to get back in the game somehow and try and be annoying. So congratulations to NIP. That's going to be the victory here on Cobblestone for a best of one game and our first of the evening as well. Exactly. First of the evening, first win, and um, that's that's also a crucial win for NIP as far as they're concerned because in the standings, all the rounds matter. And NIP, I think they they're getting they're getting to the point where they have run it back. I think they took like eight round, eight maps straight or something like. Than that because. They could have used the bonus, the, the bonus rounds basically to work with once it comes down to uh, to reading the things. Absolutely true. But I suppose that means we have about five-ish minutes break before mm -hmm. we get into the next game, um, which I believe is going to be between Flipside and Virtus Pro, also on Cobblestone. Um, that could actually be kind of an interesting match. So, uh, yeah, I guess what do you say, some of the five minutes? I'd say five minutes, and we'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. We have another map coming up for you in just a few moments.